You may have seen the hepatitis C commercials advocating a cure. ABC 7's Alex Redman joins us with more on how far we have come in the treatment of hep C. Alex. Thanks, Haley. Annual hepatitis C-related deaths in 2013 surpassed the total combined number of deaths from 60 other infectious diseases reported to the CDC. That includes HIV, pneumococcal disease, and tuberculosis. Hepatitis C is called the silent epidemic. Unfortunately, people don't come into treatment soon enough because they don't have very many symptoms early on. But it can lead to liver cirrhosis, cancer of the liver, and has become the number one cause for liver transplantation in the United States. 130 to 150 million people worldwide have chronic hepatitis C infection, according to the World Health Organization. And the CDC finds hep C kills more Americans than any other infectious disease. Boomers are at the highest risk. The people born between 1945 and 1965, and in fact that Medicare has now approved testing and screening of all this entire population and other insurance companies as well. There are vaccines for both hepatitis A and B, but not hepatitis C, says Dr. Stephen Nicholas of Comprehensive Care Center, which is part of the Community AIDS Network. But there is hope. And now we have new agents available that are a pill a day and um, a close to a 90, 95 to 99% cure rate. Patients were taking a year of an injection medicine called interferon and a pill called ribavirin, says infectious disease doctor Tanya Schreibman. That had a multitude of side effects that was almost like being on chemotherapy for people. And it was a 40 to 50 percent cure rate at that time. And Dr. Schreibman says that about 30 percent of people that are infected with HIV also have hepatitis C. So when I got diagnosed with hepatitis C, it was called non-A, non-B hepatitis. They hadn't even had a name for it yet. Valerie Wojohowicz says she's been living with HIV and hepatitis C for 30 years. If I were looking for symptoms, I wouldn't have had them. It's just fortunate that I took the test. There's been so little progression in her body, says Wojohowicz, that she never had to consider the old hep C treatments that people may still be reluctant to consider. I'm on a three-month course of treatment. It's one pill once a day for three months, period, end of story. And it's truly amazing. I've had some side effects, but they're minimal compared to the old school medications. It is essentially a cure for hepatitis C, which is a marked change from where we've come in the past. About three and a half million Americans are living with hepatitis C, and roughly half are unaware of their infection. CDC and the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force recommends one-time hepatitis C testing for everyone born from 1945 to 1965. And Alex, is there any research happening right here on the Sun Coast? Yes, there is. The Comprehensive Care Center right here in Sarasota on Swift and Tuttle are conducting clinical trials right now, and they're actually recruiting. So we'll have some information for you on our website. Just go to mysuncoast.com and click on health. It's fantastic. The strides we've already made and more still to come. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Alex.